Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So in today's video, as you can tell by the background, I'm gonna be doing another try on haul. I am sweating, I've just finished it, it's hot. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some bits from Collusion by ASOS. I have been wanting to try out some of their stuff for the longest time. It's kind of like quirky streetwear, a lot of it. A lot of the pieces are also unisex, which is really cool. I've got around about 10 different things to show you guys, so let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing I have is this gilet here. This is called the Unisex Oversized Biker Gilet. Got it in a size small. It is very large, but that's what I kind of wanted. And I literally wanted it for this kind of outfit, which is why I have just put on like a plain black dress today. Oh yes, this is sick. This is literally exactly the kind of thing I was after. I might take off the chain. I feel like it may be, I don't know, like maybe cheapens it a little bit, but I also kind of like the chain. Yeah, that's sick. Nice quality, not too heavyweight. It is quite like a lightweight faux leather material. As you can see, it's got like an orange lining on the inside. I'd maybe prefer if it was black, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Obviously you can do it up and you could probably even wear this just with like, like wear it on its own. Maybe even with a belt kind of cinching you in and then just like cycling shorts or something. Could be a little vibe, but yeah, I think this looks sick. I kind of feel like I'm part of the serpents from Riverdale. By the way, whatever happened to Riverdale? I watched it, I loved it, and then it turned into a musical and I can't watch it anymore. But yeah, definitely giving me kind of like serpent vibes with this. I literally don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I've wanted something like this for a really, really long time. Good size, good fit. Obviously I know it is oversized, but that is what I wanted. Pockets, yes, okay, we have leveled up now. Hell yes to this. Yeah, I think this is cool as hell. So now we'll move on to a little co-ord kind of situation. So again, this is all unisex. So this is called the unisex motocross nylon joggers and I got them in a size extra small. Do you guys remember I got that like vintage, I think it was like a motocross jacket or something when I was in America. This kind of gives me that kind of vibe. You know what I mean? With like the patches and the kind of labeling and logo and stuff. It's got a little bit of reflective material around the ankle. Elasticates at the ankle as well and also at the waist. And you do also have little drawstrings to tighten it up. Real pockets, material seems nice enough. It's a very kind of lightweight material, but I do tend to prefer that with joggers like this. So you know what? I'm just gonna try and slip these without flashing you. Over my dress a little bit, see if I can get my ass in it. Swing, there we go. That wasn't too difficult. Okay, hello, these are nice. Obviously you might be able to see my dress bunched up a little bit underneath. But if I take this off, this is how the trousers are looking. These are so sick. They're a little bit looser on the bottom than I would normally go for. I normally go for something a little bit tighter around the ankle, but I actually kind of like it. Like it cinches you in enough, but it almost kind of goes in at the knee and then comes out again on your calf. But yeah, I do actually like that. It's just something a little bit different, but it's still kind of flattering. These are so sick. I'm really into these. I want to wear them now. Yeah, these are very cool. I was expecting to like them. Wasn't expecting to like them this much. Which makes me very excited because of course I had to get the matching jacket to go along with it. Like I can't just, I can't just do a garish print on my legs. I've got to go all out and do a full on boiler suit kind of situation. So I got this here in the size small. So you pop it open at the front. So it's got a concealed zip and then let's just pop this on. I ordered this in a slightly larger size because I do like to have jackets like this a bit larger. Oh, I love this. I know it's garish. I know I'm probably like, probably a bit too old to be wearing it considering I'm like getting close to 30 now. I don't want to talk about it. But I'm gonna be a cool 30 year old, okay? I'm cool. If I say it enough times, it might come true. Yeah, this is so sick. I will 100% wear these two together. I will probably get some very funny looks if I wear this in town, but I don't care. I think this looks cool as hell. Especially from the back and the side, like, I don't know, just like this in general. Oh my God, I need to buy more stuff from Collusion. Like, don't get me wrong, there are some things that are completely not my style from them. This is my style though. Like, this is very much my style. And, oh my God, don't tell me you can do this. Think you can tighten it a bit. Oh, hell yeah. So use the little Velcro bit, stick it down there if it will. Might not. Tighten it up a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so buzzing about this. I, I love it. I really like it. This jacket by itself as well is such a good bomber. Oh, mm, okay. I'm very happy so far. So next, before I like fully change up my outfit and everything, I want to try out this here. So this here is called 
the crop blazer in black with chain bungee detail. I'm pretty sure this is like just meant for women, but you can wear whatever the hell you want. But yeah, I got this in a size eight. So I don't know if you guys will necessarily be able to see, but it's just like a standard crop blazer. But you've got little like toggles on the side to kind of make it look a little bit more streetwear. And it's all frayed at the bottom as well, like on the hem. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I think this is gonna go with this outfit because I don't necessarily think it will but I do just want to try it on while I've got it. Okay. This is very oversized and it looks really stupid with these trousers, I get it. But actually it looks kind of like Maze and Martin Margiela. It literally does. I swear I've seen something like this from them before. Yeah, you've got the little like toggle things here. I mean, even if I just like, just try it with this and take off these trousers. That's actually really cool. I first put it on, I was like, this is bigger than what I expected, which is 100% what she said. Obviously you can do it up if you want. I probably wouldn't, I'd probably just leave it kind of open. But like the extreme shoulder pads, I'm really, really into. I didn't actually even notice that it had shoulder pads, but they're actually quite thick, which obviously gives it the very kind of like structured masculine look. But yeah, I really kind of like the silhouette it's giving me. You can obviously roll the sleeves up as well. You could even just wear it as a top by itself if you wanted to, and maybe just have like a little bit of boobage showing or have like a lacy bra or something at the top. It actually looks way better on than it does just like off the rack. What do you guys think? Would you wear this? Again, I know my style in general, apart from when I'm like being really lazy and boring, but when I'm going a little bit out there, I know that my style isn't necessarily everyone's taste. But I like I like some ugly stuff. So yeah, let me know if you would wear something like this. Would you wear something like this kind of oversized with these big shoulder pads? I'm just curious, but I think this is cool. And that's all that matters. So now I don't even wanna think about how much chafing there's gonna be going on with all these lights around me. But now I have the leather look snake trousers and I got these in an eight. I mean, they're leather look, so hopefully they shouldn't be too, like, sticky. Okay, just by looking at them, I don't know how these are gonna fit me because I've put on a little bit of weight during quarantine. I'm sure these will fit me eventually, but right now, like, I'm just looking and I'm thinking, you're gonna have a hard job squeezing your ass into those things, but I'm going to try. They look nice though, they smell pretty fishy. You know that whole like fake leather smell and everything? These, they've got it. But I do usually find that kind of thing does sort of go after the first wash. Okay, wish me luck. I, like I said, I really don't think I'll fit in these. So, but we'll see. I hope I do. <laughs> these aren't gonna go over my bum, are they? I mean, it makes my bum look really good like that. Maybe I will just wear them like this and be like, yes, this is my real butt. Have we got any leeway here at all? No. The trousers look like they would be nice. Like even just like how they sit on my leg, they, I can't even show you guys, but they look like they would fit quite nice if they were actually like where they were supposed to be. I either need to lose a few pounds, which I mean, the best part about quarantine and lockdown is all the food I've been eating. So that's not gonna happen. So I'll probably just get these in a larger size and yeah. Um, but if you wanted like a bum lift, get them in a size too small and this will do it for you. You might look like one of those teenage boys in year six or something with their trousers down their ass and their boxes showing, but I mean, weird things in fashion come and go. So who knows what could be popping next year. So yeah, that's a shame that they don't really fit, but eh, I'll just get a bigger size. It's cool. Guys, if your clothes don't fit you, if you buy your clothes in a normal size and they don't fit you, if they're like too small or whatever, don't beat yourself up about it. Just get a bigger size. No one's gonna look at your clothes and go, ooh, what size are you wearing? And checking the tag as you're walking around. No one's gonna give a shit. If you wanna wear something, if it's a little bit too small for you, size up, who the hell cares? Bye-bye. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this dress. This is called the blazer dress with chain belt and strapping detail. Again, got this in an eight. Da, 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 da. Oh, this looks very nice. I don't know who the hell I think I am. Like I literally go from wearing like a boiler suit and something that like a 14 year old boy would wear to I'm Kris Jenner, bitch. I think I'm just gonna pop this on over the dress I've got on now. So I just pop it on there. Is there a belt or something to go with it? Can I tighten it up? Because I feel like I need to tighten it up. Um, it looks, it's quite big on me. Is there a belt somewhere? Did I just fully miss that? I mean, if I had it with a belt or if I could kind of figure out a way to cinch this in, maybe if I, like I can literally wrap it around like that and that'll probably suck me in a bit more. What do you think? I feel like I maybe could have gone with a size six just based on how loose it is or maybe that's just how it's supposed to be, I'm not sure. 
To be fair, if it was just a little bit more cinched in, I'd be really happy with it. I think I'll keep it just because I don't really have a black blazer dress like this. I just think I'll probably repurpose this chain for something else and just use like a utility belt or something to kind of really cinch it in. But otherwise, the dress is nice quality. The pockets are fake. Oh, they're fake. Why do you do this to me? Now, the more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. I kind of like to, I don't know, figure out some kind of slit situation if I could. I don't really know how I'd do that. But yeah, it's a cute dress. And I mean, pretty much everything from the collusion range is pretty affordable. So yeah, I like it. I just need to do a few little tweaks. Okay, so now we'll move on to boiler suits. So this here is called the tie-dye boiler suit with orange taping. I got this in a size six. But honestly, collusion do such sick stuff. So is it poppers? Oh my God, it's poppers. This makes my life even easier. Just like lazy person's clothes and I love it. Lazy but cool person's clothes, that's me. All right, let's put this on. This is a little bit different to what I remembered it as. Like, I remembered it to be a little bit more fitting, but like size six definitely works for me. The only gripe I have with this is that neither the ankles or the arms are like elasticated or tight. I don't have like the most voluptuous body shape ever. I go in a little bit around my hips. I've got a bit of a bum, I've got a bit of boobs, but like I need something to kind of like balance it all out a little bit. So I feel like if I just maybe did something to the ankle, by the way, I'll just show you guys what the ankle's like on. So you can see it is quite like a straight cut. If I just kind of cinch those in somehow, I feel like I'd be a lot more into it. So it's quite an easy thing to fix. I just need to get like a little bit of like elastic or something and just sew it in. I probably wouldn't keep this belt. So I'd probably wear it sometimes with this, but generally I'd probably wear it with again, like a utility belt or something. Let me just fully suck myself in with this belt for a minute and see if that makes any difference. Okay, that looks a little bit better now it's all sucked in. And maybe if I had it with heels or something, that actually might look kind of cute. Or if I roll up the sleeves. Yeah, I feel like if I just had like a little bit of boob tape or something, just to kind of keep that open, and actually make it look a little bit more kind of night outy as opposed to really, really casual. Could wear it with some little heels, switch the belt up, roll the sleeves up, not bad. Next up is another boiler suit, this one here. I just threw away the bag. This is called, I don't know. I don't know, I've lost the bag, there's too many down there. Too hot, can't be bothered, but I will link it down below. So this is just another boiler suit. This looks so sick. Oh my God, yes. It's probably not looking like anything at all to you guys, but like I can cinch in the waist with this little toggle bit. Hell yeah. It's got little pockets and they're real. There's minimal kind of branding on it. There's a little bit here, which does look very kind of like, what am I even trying to say here? It doesn't look like any brand in particular, but if you looked at it, you might think this is maybe like an off-white jumpsuit or something. Nice solid zip there. Yeah, this looks so sick. Elasticated at the wrist and at the ankles. We love to see it. I got this again in a size six. So hopefully if it's anything like this one, it should be a pretty decent fit. Let's see what you got, friend. I love this so much. This toggle is genius. Like not only does it look cool, but okay. It looks pretty baggy and shapeless on me. Like I look like I kind of work at a garage with this. And then if I pull it up, cinch it in, I'm like sexy girl that works at a garage, you know? You have pockets down the side. Obviously you've got the branding here, very cute on the little bum cheek. I don't know what the material is called. It's kind of like nylon maybe, but this should give you an idea as to what kind of material it is. Okay, so it's quite lightweight, but the zip goes down really far as well. Like the zip literally goes down to about here. So if you wanted to go all out and like have your boobies out a little bit, you do you. You could even like have it off the shoulder if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I did just roll it up on the ankles a touch just to make it a little bit shorter. So I got the ankle cleavage. Oh my God, what? Wait a minute. I just spotted this thing here. That's genius. This is what I'm talking about with pockets. Like I like pockets in general, but if you can give me a useful pocket, like a, yes, phone's right there. Yes, 100% yes. The more pockets, the more things I can just like squirrel away. Yeah, really loving this. I think it's probably one of my favorite things actually. This, and then also, there's actually quite a lot. This, the jacket, the trousers. I like the blazer jacket. So far we've got a lot of wins. So last but not least, I have two different body suits. So I have the scuba text print body with contrast zip. I got this in a six. Oh my God, literally, it's literally scuba. 
This looks sick. Oh my God. I'm already sitting here and thinking to myself that this is how sad I am. I'm like, this in the Instagram picture would bang. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this on, pop on some sweatpants or something, just so you know, the, the groin isn't out basically. And yeah, we'll see how this looks. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so you can obviously have it. My boobs nearly fully escaped then. You can either have it obviously boobs out or you can zip it all the way up. I have a short neck. So if I do that, I literally look like I'm just kind of doing this. So I probably won't do that. I probably just maybe wear it like this or with the boobies out if I'm feeling frisky. Again, it's such a good quality bodysuit. Fair enough, this isn't your thing, but the quality is bang on and the print is really nice as well. It's not see-through anywhere. And I'll just show you guys how it kind of sits on my hips here. So looks like that and then little cheeky thong on the back. Very happy with this one. So last but not least, like I said, I have one more bodysuit to try out. This is called the Badge Print Mesh Body and I got it in an eight. As you can see, this is a little bit see-through, but I just thought it looked really cool. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop a bra on. Might need one of those. And then we'll see how this looks. I wasn't 100% sure how this would look given the fact that it is obviously mesh. The same kind of color as my skin and it covered in loads of different badges. I wasn't sure if it was like the look I was necessarily going for, but this is the look I'm going for. I don't know what this look is, but I like it. As you might see, I've just literally got like a new tank top underneath and it worked quite well. It was easy to put on. It's quite a stretchy mesh. So it was easy to like pop over my head and like sort out the sleeves and everything. No issue with that. It's cool. Okay, it might not be like the, the usual kind of cool, but to me it's cool. So yeah, I'll just show you guys how it looks. You can see just that there. And I'll also just quickly show you, obviously you can see I've got my tank top here, but this is how it kind of sits on your hips. I am so freaking stoked about pretty much everything that I got. The only thing obviously I was disappointed in, but I'm gonna get in a bigger size was those trousers. Yeah, I'm gonna be placing more collusion orders. It's just like good, affordable streetwear. That was rude. Good affordable streetwear. There's some weird stuff. There's some basics. Yeah, I will be checking out more from them because I am very, very impressed. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, let me know what other brands you guys want me to do try on hauls for. Let me know what was your guys' favorite thing that I picked out. I think mine has to be. I'm just really into the bomber jacket and the matching trousers. I know it's disgusting, but it's also lovely. So yeah, I think those are probably my faves. Although I do like this and I do like the other body. Yeah, I just like most of it, to be honest. Just like most of it. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Get me out of this, I'm too hot.